Welcome, combatants, to another day in the arena. It's your boy James, aka NeuralNet Games, and today I'm bringing you a super fun list. It's a Jund hospitality build, and what we're trying to do here is we're trying to get uh, some value in the early game and some ramp with a Jasper, with our Jasper Sentinels, our Shambling Gas, our Eye Twitch, and our Cursebound Witches, and then we're also running Deadly Dispute. And then what we want to do is we want to ramp up into the mid game and we're going to use uh, three planeswalkers that combo really nice together. So the first is Arlen Pax Hope and it's really nice day bound side until your next turn. You may cast creature spells as though they had flash and each creature you control enters the battlefield with an additional plus one plus one counter. So really, really nice to combo with Lolth so that you get two, three, two spiders. And if you get these two out together, you're, you become almost unstoppable very quickly because you can also start making wolves with Arlen on the daybound side. And so you can make a lot of creatures and then Lolth becomes just this, you know, ridiculous powerhouse. And then we have Zerial, Archduke of Avernus. Creatures you control get plus one, plus O, o and gain haste until end of turn. So very good if you have an Arlen out and you have a Lolth out. You do both their minus threes. You get four creatures for zero mana, and then you plus one all of them. So you've got three, two, three, two, three, two, three, two. Like they're, you know, you can put a lot of power out right away. Um... So essentially we're a control deck. We've also got, you know, two feed the swarm enchantments, meat hooks and stuff on our opponent's side are going to be real pain. Couple infernal grasp, uh, two brittle blast. And then we're using the curse of hospitality as well. I guess that's why it's called gend hospitality. I'm going to move my mic up a little bit. So it's a little bit better. Um, so what we want is we're going to have a bunch of creatures limitless creatures in some ways right because we can keep plus running and then minusing and we're gonna have uh we don't have to spend a lot of mana to create those creatures in fact we create them all for free here right so then we attack with curse of hospitality this is the only way i've actually been able to use this card effectively although you're not going to see it in today's games it was just um i don't have a lot of time today i'm a little bit behind um so there's only four games here and um the curse of hospitality just didn't show up at the at the right times but in the right circumstances when you've got a bunch of little creatures uh you know from these to you know the ones that are produced by our planeswalkers we can very often just start yanking cards and usually by that time we've got quite a bit of mana too so we can make curse of hospitality actually quite effective in testing it did some pretty good work for me um but yeah, and of course, once I get to the ranked games, things just, yeah, they don't happen the way that you want them to happen. My God, today, I had a double mulligan today and a triple mulligan today. The triple mulligan was with a different deck. Anyways, then we've got a Celestis, just really good in the mid game, helps us ramp, helps us does a bunch of fun stuff. Um, we're drawing out the game but with Lolth and our other Planeswalkers. So having a Celestis around ends up, you know, turning into quite a bit of life and it allows us to draw cards at a pretty reasonable level. What else we got here? We got Meat Hooks so we can get some life. Couple Shatter Skull Smashing. Burn Down the House is also really good too because think about it this way. So you've got Burn Down the House. You've got an uh, Azariel out. You've got a Lolth out. You've got an Arlen's whatever. They all synergize together. So you play this, you get three creatures. Then you, you plus one with Avernus. Now they're two ones. If you had, if you had an Arlen out first, you could have plus one and they would actually enter as two twos. So now with these two right here and this, you've got two, three, three twos coming out. And if you have a Lolf out, you also can make a couple creatures. And because of this, now they're three ones, right? Um, and they're hasty. So you can do a lot of cool synergies between these three planeswalkers. Sorry, and this one, uh, Lolth, Azariel, and Arlen. And that's really why I made the deck is I was like, if I can just get a couple of these out, 
They synergize so well together. And if you get a couple of those out, you're essentially going to win the game. 25 total lands, couple field to ruin, one den of the bugbear, one hive of the eye, of ty eye tyrant. We've got environmental sciences, necrotic fumes, containment breach, pest summoning, introduction to annihilation, mascot exhibition, and one confront the past to go back and get one of our planeswalkers. Sorry, the footage is a little short today. You know, life, life happens. I hope you enjoy the deck. Make sure you comment. And if you do like the deck, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and turn on that notification bell so that you're notified right away when I put out these decks. And just, yeah, thanks a lot. I, I appreciate the support on this channel so much. Let's get to it. Okay, green, red, black. Celeste shatters Colburn down the house. It's not the best hand, but it's totally a livable hand. I'm gonna go here first. Into the mountain, into the Rockfall Vale. Celestus. We got some kill stuff in case we're against aggro. We're gonna save it for the righteous Valkyrie. Another Lunark. That's a great, great play for us. We're totally fine with that. Uh, we are going right into the Celestis to ramp up. Uh, we can go three life and burn down the house if they play a Righteous here. Priest of Ancient Lore is not bad. Shatter Skull Smashing could kill a couple of them, or I could go straight into an Arlen Pax Hope here. Uh, can wipe the board. Two red, black, green. Okay, so we're going to go black here, right? Okay. Question is, if I just burn down the house first, but I create three one ones, I have really good defense. I can kill a righteous Valkyrie or whatever else they put out. We're going to attack with one. The ra These two will hold them right off. Inquisitor Captain. Okay, here's where we just wipe the board. We attack with everybody. And then we just wipe the board on them. And then we play a Lalt or something along those lines. They do nothing. Okay, so Lalt. Um, yeah, I guess I'm not going to burn down the house. I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. Okay, let's play a Loth here, right? Let's go like this, Infernal Grasp here. Let's play an Arlen Pax Hope. We can Shatter Skull Smashing. We can lull here pretty quickly. Priest of Ancient Lore. I don't know what the hell I'm talking about burning down the house. I'm, uh, yeah. <laughs> it's been a day. It's been a day again. I seem to be saying that a lot lately. I mean, they really should attack with the priest here too. Okay, so now we'll just go like this. Go like that, that's fine. Okay, so the question is, what do we do? I can lull here, right? Let's go like this. Let's lull. Let's create a couple of tough spiders. And... Hmm, do I want to attack with two? Nah, let's pass the turn. Then we can get in some brittle blasting and stuff like that. Right now we have a huge advantage. I can do a three point Shatter Skull Smashing, four point actually with the Celestis. They can do nothing against us, so let's just sit here. 
Let's draw a card. Ooh, we get a burn down the house. That's pretty good. We can save that, though. We can definitely save that. I can plus one, and then I could burn down the house. I'm going to do it. do that. I think that's pretty good. <laughs> Things are looking good here. <laughs> All right. If only I hadn't said the one stupid thing I had said before. A core celebrant. Okay. I may, I think I'm going to shatter skull smashing, uh, the smaller creatures here. Uh, I can also deadly dispute one. Okay, let's draw a card. More land. More land is good. Um, yeah, let's deadly dispute one of our little devils. Get rid of one of the Lunark veterans. Okay, we get a curse bound witch here that we can play. Um, let's go, let's plus one Arlen again here though. Most um, we can actually save the curse bound witch, and then I can shatter skull for one, two, three, four, five. I have six total mana, right? One, two, three, four, five, six total mana. So I could shatter skull a lunark veteran and a priest for five mana and save uh, yeah i am gonna have to use my celestis though okay one two three four five yep yeah i don't really need to spend three do i i only need to spend four here total so x equals two actually And then we'll save three mana in case I want a Brittle Blast. Let's attack with a couple of these. They don't have any haste. And they have to double block. Which they decide not to do. Okay. Jund. Jund. Let's do this thing. They get a voice of the blessed, okay. And we're gonna brittle blast that instead of paying for the curse bound witch, I would say. Um Yep. Well, curse bound witch, I don't think they're gonna get to 10 counters here, are they? Okay, let's just see what happens. Doesn't matter. We can keep waiting. Destroy target enchantment. You gain two life. Okay, so we're good there. Okay. Okay, I guess I'm going to do it right now. They can't flash anything. Really? A friggin' Sajiri shelter. Okay, then. <laughs> okay, one there.
Okay, we get a bunch of loyalty counters. One damage to any target. Now let's take that out because it's a flyer. And then I should have three more damage to get rid of their Dawn Ringer Cleric. Oh, no, I don't. Shoot. Whoops. I was thinking it was two because it was power two. My bad. My bad. Tripping. That's okay, though. Okay, we'll just keep making making creatures here. So let's just, uh, let's draw first here. Or do I want to make more creatures first? I don't have any other cards. Hmm. Okay, let's play a hive for sure. I don't really want to risk too much, so I'm going to go like this. We're going to plus one this, and then we're going to get some more creatures, and they're going to be tough for three twos as well. I'm going to play a curse bound witch. I'm going to go to night. And then we will uh, dump that. Yep. I guess we're just going to keep putting some pressure on here, right? With the menace. Yeah. Tis night. So they have to double spell if they don't want Arlen attacking in. They get a righteous Valkyrie. They are below though. So we will kill it with the Shatter Skull smashing here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Uh, let's go like this. Right there, right? And one here. Becomes indestructible. Uh, let's decline that. Oh, that was convenient for them, wasn't it? Okay, so I can Shatter Skull smashing the Righteous Valkyrie and the Luminous Phantom here. So let's go. We need five total damage, right? So seven mana. No, no, oh my god. Can we set it out? Can we set it out? Not what I wanted to do. Nice. That's okay. Let's draw a card here. Okay, we get a meat hook. Uh, we can't produce a blocker though, so we're gonna have to wait on that. Let's uh, do this. Destroy that. Okay, and do I want to attack? Yeah, I want to keep them lower, right? So let's attack. Let's actually go to night. We're going to decline the action, but we can actually attack here. Yeah, let's do that. Thirteen thirteen is gonna be pretty pretty annoying, but I think we'll probably be able to overcome it. Will get 
what I want. Yeah, I may just start. I may just play a meat hook for one here. I think is probably what I'm going to do. Um, the other thing I could do is, um, meat hook my board. I could meat hook for four and wipe the board completely, make some more stuff, right? And get a bunch of loyalty counters here. Do some damage to them. I think I'm just going to play it. Yeah, it's pretty close. I don't really want to wipe the board yet. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. I could actually do an eleven point wipe here. And I'm so close. Maybe just draw some more cards here right now. And and hang back. Go on, run. But we will catch you. <laughs> yeah, let's start drawing here. Start ditching our lands. Let's play a zero. Let's play a one point meat hook. Okay. Start getting some stuff. I could get rid of their core celebrant here too, but I think I'm going to save for a righteous Valkyrie. We're just going to end the turn. Goes back today. They get an Angel of Unity. I'll probably kill it because it's a flyer. I could just meat hook again, I guess, but that would get me up to what? Nine loyalty counters. Okay, I'll meat hook now. I'll meat hook next turn. Then I'll just make two more spiders. <laughs> ah, funny head trample, eh? <laughs> Okay, what do we want? A four point meat hook, right? Okay. Put some damage on them. What do I want here? Uh, I guess just this Blood Hunter bat. It's a really bad pull, actually. Um, we could kill them super fast that way, but I'm just going to play it a little bit safer than that. Right? Uh, one, two, three. I guess I can play the bat, too. Oh, I should have done this first. Son of a gun. On my Should have done that first, yeah. Bit of a fail. I'm going to keep the Field of Ruin just to toss with the Celestis. I just don't see how they can beat us here. They have to run us out of cards. I don't think they're going to be able to do it. We can just Brittle Blast. Unblocker there. We can just keep making spiders now, I guess, and just in exchange for loyalty. We get another Arlen. Okay, so let's brittle blast the Luminarch. Right? 
Um, let's make some more spiders. We will slay let's uh, get our hive going here. Oh, I keep forgetting to plus one. You know what? I'm actually going to not plus one. And then let's uh, yeah, hive, right? And let's finish them here just about. Uh, sure. Field Inquisitor Capitano. Uh, and we're good. They're at 10 life. They get an all in ball escort. Okay. <laughs> that will help them block a little bit. We'll plus one Arlen. Oh, they got my meat hook. Not cool. It's the blood hunter bat because it doesn't have menace. Loth doing some work here. Okay, what's uh, plus one? Let's just Arlen here and end the game, right? I'll make some more wolf tokens that are tougher. Humans and werewolves existed in a delicate balance. I hate you, Righteous Valkyrie. You can die. We almost got him. <laughs> okay, they're going to take eight then. Yeah, sure. Get the Allenbach escort first. <laughs> well, I forgot about the light, the life link. I guess that's okay though. We'll still keep going. They're not gonna win. <laughs> that's funny. It's really funny, actually. Take the action, yeah. Oh my good god. Are you kidding me right now? Are you kidding me with all this mana? Okay, we get a Zeriel. Okay, let's play a Zeriel out. Okay, order of operations. Oh, she's a 5-5. Five five. Okay, let's make her a 5-5 five five here. And let's go here. Okay. And let's go here. Okay. Let's attack with everyone but those two, right? I think we're in fairly good shape here. I'm not even doing the math. I don't care. <laughs> no life link for you this time. Oh, nice. Right on the money. Love it. 
a zombie, but no way of getting the zombie. I have to mulligan this. There's no way I can keep that. Yeah. Okay. We're going to get rid of the burn down the house. And we'll go here for curse bound. Hopefully we can get something to draw some cards like a deadly dispute or something along those lines. Okay. I think we're in pretty good shape here. And then an eye twitch. It's a lot of things that do stuff. <laughs> sort of. <laughs> uh, oh, we've got Azorius Control. Great. They Fateful Absence or Jasper. Okay. I'm actually really happy with that. And then we'll just play a zero point meat hook next turn. They foretell. Okay. Uh, I think I'd rather go here or would I re Yeah. Okay. That's what I'm doing. They're going to have almost nothing that makes, you know, any sense with a uh, brittle blast. Yeah, I'm going to take the action here. And I'm actually going to get rid of Brittle Blast. Uh, we get to Zeriel. I know if I play it first, uh, it can potentially be better. But I think I actually want to play the Meat Hook first. It's really close. Let's see if they try and stop this. Because if they wipe the board, then they take some damage, right? They can't Jawari me or anything like that. They faithful maps instead. Okay, we go and we get uh, environmental sciences here to make sure we get to our Lolf. Uh, let's actually go red because we have two black already. Feed this worm no good. Okay. Uh, we do get a field of ruin, which is better than... Okay, so what do I want to do? I want to go Lolth here first. I think we got this one. They're, they've been pretty unlucky. They've missed a lot of land drops. They're going to have a real hard time doing anything to us here. They can't even Doomscar right now, I guess, right? Let's see if they have a Counterspell or a Divide. Yeah, they got a Divide. Okay. Which means they can buy Environmental Sciences, but they can't wipe the board. So they're going for their second white mana. We got to do it anyways. We can't just sit there. And they foretell. Okay, so we get another land. And they're just done. Unfortunately, it's a short day today. So I'm going to have to show this video. <laughs> okay. Um, deadly dispute, but nothing to deadly dispute. I don't think I can take this hand either. So close. So close to being good, you know. But it's just nothing. That's... I can't even play my Jaspera. Okay, I guess that's what we're keeping. Meat hook goes. One, two, three, four, five, six. And I guess we're getting rid of the Den or the Crag Crown. Crag Crown? Okay. Cursebound Witch actually gives me a card. Shambling Ghast. I mean, it doesn't ramp me into anything. I could have actually kept the Meat Hook and just done the Cursebound Witch or something, I guess, too. But um, I'm 
Nice. I love having to double mulligan. Today, I rarely have to, I rarely double mulligan. Earlier today, I had to triple mulligan down to four cards with this previous deck I was playing. <laughs> okay, so they've got another Jaspera. Did they keep a one lander here? Okay, no. They did not. Are they going to untap for two mana? Just, okay, so it's Selesnia. Oh, okay, interesting. Okay, we get more land. Let's play this first. No attacks yet. We may need to block some people on the ground, so. Oh, double mulligan on the play means very low amounts of cards. And this is essential this essentially means I'm gonna die because um I don't have enough land. I don't have any flying blockers. I can't cast anything here. But let's just, uh, let's get rid of one of their cards or get us a card. Okay, perfect. I guess I could have attacked with the gas too to get the treasure. Trespassers curse is okay. Get us a little bit of life. Maybe keep us alive for a little while here. Arlen just does not help us right now either though. She just brings a couple two twos out and gets nuked. That's kind of the problem. We need a lull. Just such a bad start on the double mulligan. I'm like, what are you gonna do? Okay, we take four, and then we're taking two more. We'll be down to 12. We don't got long left. We have to decline. We get the other Curse of Hospitality. Yay. Oh, we get a land. I guess it has to be green here. I don't think another land is what we want. We need something to kill the tyrant, right? Okay. And then trespassers curse. Maybe get us a little bit of life here. We can theoretically get an Arlen here, but it doesn't really help a lot. Yeah, we're going to take quite a bit of damage here. We just decide not to attack with the Jasper. Okay. I guess this does prevent two of it. So, they've got my Den of the Bugbear, right? <laughs> I mean, it does nothing for me. I don't know if there's anything in here that really does anything for me anyways. I could kill their wolf with that, I guess. Um, I have to get rid of it. I mean, Arlen doesn't help me anyways. Witch's Vengeance uh, does not save me. Deadly Dispute doesn't save me. Nothing saves me. They can just put trample on that. They got none of my kill spells. Well, the double mulligan is just, you know, it is what it is. Okay. Mm, again, I get screwed on land, but I'm going to keep it. I'm tired of mulliganing. I just lost a game. I had to mulligan again after that double mulligan. And uh, I'm just not mulliganing again with three land. And I can actually do maybe something. Who the hell knows? <laughs> I cannot get the right land with this deck. I just can't. Like, I just cannot get the right land with this deck at all. I just keep getting all this, like, all the wrong stuff, you know? Let's slow him down with that. Like, I just keep getting all the wrong stuff. I never get the right lands. I just, I mean, it's insane. Now they get to draw cards on me. Great. 
None of the right land. Uh, another red land when all I needed in the beginning was a green, you know? Okay, I guess we're doing this. Just getting railroaded. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> and I have to take three damage to play the car to play as Ariel. I guess it technically keeps me alive, right? I get to have a blocker that can block there and kill the ascendant pack leader. I take two. Okay. I mean, we're still 99% dead, but good God, man. I mean, they're going to have a card to deal with it. They, they are. And we're still going to die. But theoretically, I could live. Although most of my kill spells... <laughs> nice. Yeah, just... What are they doing? They have lethal. <laughs> Oh, okay. I mean, what should I do here? May Like, I probably shouldn't block? Why would they do that? I don't care how much damage gets through. It's at four. If I block here, it still dies, right? So I just block this. And I do one damage to them. Why? <laughs> I don't care. It means nothing. I don't have enough mana to do anything. Oh my god, why did they do that? 